Hi there, you're watching Amitha Verma, and I am beyond excited to share today's topic with you because as I promised you at the beginning of the year, I am taking you behind the scenes with me in real time on the projects that I work on. I'm here at this kind of an Airbnb long-term rental style home that my husband and I have taken on and it is really going to be an interesting project because it's a little bit different than what I usually design in. It also needs to blend a little bit of the indoors and the outdoors and old and new. The good news is we don't really need to do a lot on the outside. The natural view is so stunning, but the real challenge is going to be on the inside of the home, which is Spanish style that I feel like is missing some of those elements on the inside. I want to make the style match the exterior of the home and then as well make it feel new but older in a very classic sort of Spanish but a little bit of a modern touch into the home and also embrace some of the beautiful things that we're seeing outside on this property but I guarantee you you're gonna learn so much and you're gonna take away a lot of great principles in how to start a project how to think about it how to start designing this is gonna be a fun one for you so we're walking through the front entrance and it's such a cozy cute little house I love the Spanish tiles and the entrance. I do imagine changing some of the colors. Hello. Hi, Baba. Welcome to the Spanish style remodel. <laughs> As you can see, there are definitely some spots that we want to improve and fix. One of them is this wood flooring, and it reminds me so much of our, our first house, remember? And yes. we had these two dogs called Razu and Misha. And Misha. And Razu's fur was this red orange, and we used to always say that the wood floors in that house was the color of Razu red. Right. So here we are, back with the Razu red floors. Here are some of these sconces here that I feel are not within the style of this home. They don't have that Spanish style elegance I'm looking for. The walls are like a shade of pink, like a blushy tone. I do love the shade of pink, but I don't think it really suits this home. And it doesn't really go with these wood floors. I'm gonna take some sandpaper to them while I'm here, getting some dimensions and see if they are oak, if we could restain them, because I do love this kind of antique two and a quarter inch style wood floor, but I don't like this color as much and I think it's influencing a lot of the home. Same with the baseboards. One of the first things I love to do is beef these guys up. So rather than have this little tiny, almost maybe two and three quarters with this trim piece here, I like to go even six, seven, eight inches up and beef these up. But I don't even know if that's the right style for this home because I think maybe this home needs minimal molding and more plaster finishes. What I love about this kitchen is you've got views, 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 and views. So I'd love to see more of this. I, I don't know what's feasible, but I'd love to see a larger window here and maybe get rid of some of these upper cabinets. I don't know if you need this much. And kind of rethink how the appliances are done to make this kitchen a little bit more efficient. Like for example, I imagine a really beautiful new, maybe one of those fancy French style stoves with the oven underneath so we can get rid of that appliance and then moving the microwave. Actually, there's two here. And so <laughs> just realize that and give us maybe a little bit of room for like an antique butcher block or island space. I do like this little island here, but I feel like it's very dated, but it does allow for two more people to sit over there. Got our little breakfast nook. But again, it's the colors and some of these light fixtures that I do not feel go with the age of this home, nor the style of this home. It's got this really cute little built-in desk area, but I, I might even see this being turned into a, a little bit of a bar. Great big family room, love the size of it. And of course, all of the natural light that's coming in. And then it goes over here into the dining room. Great big dining room. Same issue here with the fixture. To me, this looks like kind of a local hardware store style fixture that doesn't really match the beautiful style of the exterior. But before we get into that, let me walk you through so you can see the rest of what we need to renovate and some of the problems. So I'm gonna do this point of view here so you can see we've got pink on the walls, this yellow razu red pine color, gray carpet, white trim. So I, these are a lot of very conflicting things that just honestly don't look good together. And yes, we can hide a lot of things with furniture, but there's only so much. And we've got a bedroom here that's got these built-ins. 
if this is gonna be a short-term rental, really the number of people that can sleep in a home is very important. So this is probably gonna go away and either become bunk beds or two individual beds. We've got another little interesting nook here and you can see we've got stains in the carpet, walls that haven't been painted. And this is a sitting room. I envision this room turning into a home office. And in this room, we've got a laundry room. I also see sort of replacing some of this into the main hallway or another area of the home that would be functional for everyone to utilize. And this is a room that goes into another bedroom, but I see this being kind of closed off, walled off, so it could be its own room. So here is the main bedroom, the primary bedroom, and what a room it is. I mean, just gorgeous. You can see the views, how beautiful it is. So I'm very excited to actually utilize this view, the colors in these flowers, as the inspiration for the color palettes that I am gonna be bringing into this home. And and specifically into this room and then the bathroom as well. And these are some of the things that I envision replacing. For example, we have this ceramic tile that looks like terracotta. This is where I would splurge and go for the real terracotta. And I'd actually maybe even look for some reclaimed materials so we can make sure that we're preserving the age of this home. Maybe more furniture style cabinetry here. I do love actually the tile and the bathroom hardware that's in here. So this could be repurposed for sure. And then thinking about maybe the door color, the trim color, and of course, continuing to take that inspiration from the outdoors in. We've got another bathroom right here, and you can see the same sort of issues with the tile. The cabinets are actually very pretty in here. I love these wood tones. I think this is more in keeping with the style of this home. And some of the details in this bathroom are actually very pretty. So some of these things might be able to stay and just a little bit of paint or maybe some plaster texture will do the trick. And then last but not least, the yellow room. We've got the yellow on the wall. We've got this whitish kind of gray on the ceiling gray on the carpet, and then ceramic red terracotta inspired look and feel in here, along with white, blue, and yellow here. This is another room where I think just simplifying the color palette and focusing on all the beautifulness that we're seeing out here is going to be the trick to success. So as you can see, we've got a lot cut out for us. The very first thing that we're gonna do is stay here a night or two, see how the light works, and what are the areas that we can improve on start thinking about color palettes, start kind of vision boarding. Definitely one of the very first things that I do is to do a furniture plan because as you know, I love incorporating antiques and those you just find them when you find them. They're not on your schedule. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and I hope you learn a lot along the way. Before you leave, make sure you're subscribed to wherever you're watching this. And then on YouTube, make sure you click or ring the bell. I don't want you to miss an episode, so make sure you get those notifications. And then when you're done, go and head over to my website because you can sign up for your own free design newsletter and then stay tuned because I am going to be sharing progress with you over the next few months. And don't forget, keep using your amazing gifts, those gifts that God has blessed you with to create heart in your home.